We are good to go. <laughs> We're back. We are back. Ooh, we have a good one today, guys. We have my a good one. my favorite one. Mm -hmm. Buckle your seatbelts. So in the beginning, we had one major question that we kept asking the Lord. Lord, are you going to bless any relationship that we get into, so long as they're a Christian, blah, 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 or are you going to specifically tell me who my person is? That is the question, the question of all questions. Right? And it's stressful. But in this video, we are going to tell you how he answered that yeah. huge, ginormous, ginormous, incredible question for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go through the, all the confirmation, through all the confirmations that God had, that God spoke to me about her and to her about me. How did it, how did it look like? How God spoke to us? And yeah, how then this all, all this happened? How we're here. How are you? <laughs> Show them the ring, baby. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? We're ready. The first time that God spoke to me about Kayla was after the first date. You can check the videos mm -hmm. about our dates. Mm -hmm. uh, it was our last video, so you can, yeah. we're gonna put the link the below no up whatever we're gonna mm -hmm, put it mm -hmm. so i came home from our first date and i started praying mm -hmm. and i told him lord i don't know what this is uh i really like her but i want to know what do you think about it so this is what i asked him lord what do you think about it mm. and as i was praying I was expecting a clear answer. I was expecting yes, no. So I was expecting something. I don't know. But I do remember. He showed me a picture of I saw Jesus and I saw him. Like literally lifting Kayla in his hands. Putting her into his pocket. Turning around and just started walking. And of course, what do you do? You follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I was like in this in this movie inside, like on canvas of my imagination, mm -hmm. I was following Jesus. And the next day, I saw the same picture again. And the next day, again, I was like, Lord, like, can you be more specific? Yeah. Like, can you say yes or no or something? She's the one. But he kept repeating this picture again and again and again until finally after a week of this picture reappearing mm -hmm. i finally realized thank you holy spirit sometimes you need more just time <laughs> i realized that he was telling me hey when you follow me she's there so me and jesus <laughs> you are. Yeah, she is. Uh, are you? You're totally matching me. Yeah, uh, I copied him hardcore. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to match him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did that. Yep, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be that couple. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so the first confirmation was wow. Why? When I'm going after Jesus, she's there. So that was like the first one. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, Lord, okay, this, mm -hmm. this, we may be into something, you know. The second one was amazing and huge. Uh, it was our fourth date. You need to check out our video. You have to, please. Fourth date. She was picking me up and I literally had two minutes before she mm. picks me up. I already have my backpack on my back and I was like, I need to go, she's coming. But then I put my backpack down. I knelt next to my bed and I told the Lord, Lord, you have my yes for Kayla. And the second mm. I spoke that, I told him that, I can hear it. It was not an audible voice of the Lord, but it was so clear in my heart. He answered, and you have my yes for her. Mm. And the second I heard that, I was like, what, what just happened? What just, because I was not expecting anything. Mm -hmm. I literally have two minutes for prayer. It was not that I was like in the anointing for hours okay. too. It was like, Lord, you have my yes for Kayla. And he spoke back and you have my yes for her. Mm -hmm. And it was, that was really, really a huge one for me. Yeah. Like Lord saying yes, but yeah. he said yes to my choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the third one, the last one, then, then we're going to transfer to Kayla. The last one was also beautiful and amazing and it, only God can do that. 
Before coming to this summer program school, he was speaking to me months how he is going to crown me, how he, how I'm going to uh, enter into my royal identity. And I was like, okay, Lord, royal identity. Mm -hmm. We cool. are, <laughs> by our baptisms, we are kings, priests, you know, and prophets. I'm going to enter this, mm -hmm. this royal identity. Cool, mm -hmm. perfect, for months. And I remember I had a specific prophecy before coming to the States that God is going to crown me there. And I was like, yes, Lord, he is going to crown me. I'm entering into this. What you are mm -hmm. speaking to me for months before. Mm -hmm. But then as I came back from the States to Croatia, we, you will unfold and you hear about a story. I remember I was home and I was like, Lord, this did not happen. This did not happen. Like, I didn't feel that you crowned me, that, this, some, that I entered into my royal identity in any specific way. So, what is up with that? Mm -hmm. And he reminded me, and he told me... <laughs> oh, the Holy Spirit is so funny. He told me, do you remember what the name Kayla means? And I had, like, the name Kayla means crown so she was my crown mm. she was my crown jewel <laughs> and I started crying so hard and I remember the Lord was like I can I heard him belly laughing and I was crying oh my god she is the one Lord you were telling me that for months before even I didn't know it was a beautiful beautiful, beautiful moment <sighs> yeah that's that's how God spoke to mm -hmm. me. Plus everything that I have, like yeah. all the emotions, my wishes, my desires, yeah. everything that, everything I ever wanted, I found it her. So yeah. this is also one of the big, big things for us. Yeah. Okay, so. now, now you go, you go. Okay, so for me, it was a little different and it's, this just goes to show you how God is creative. He's mm -hmm. creative of the universe and he will speak to each of us differently in the way that we need to receive information. For me, because I had a lot of fear around, oh my gosh, am I going to pick the wrong person? Like, God, how is this supposed to work? Mm -hmm. He was kind. And he didn't necessarily confirm a lot of the things through me, but through yeah. someone that I really trusted, my mom. And he gave my mom several dreams years ago, years before we even met and dreams that she had told me about my future husband. So we kind of put those dreams on the back burner, thinking like, okay, like when the time is right and when the man comes, basically like, let's see if it aligns with the dreams. And again, God is kind because I needed that because I had this, I just wanted to pick the right person. I wanted it to be God ordained yeah. and I didn't want to miss it because of my emotions, like yeah. clouding my decision making. So the one main dream that I'm going to talk about today, because honestly, I think there were like four and we don't have yeah, time for lot. all that. But the main one I want to talk about is that years ago, I believe it was my mom and the whole gist of the dream was that it was my wedding and there was something related to the flower lily of the valley, which we read about in scripture. Again, I'm not going to get into the details of the dream because we would be here for a while. But that was the main thing. So I always kind of had it in the back of my mind. Okay, husband, something with Lily of the Valley. What does that mean, God? How are you going to put that together? Yeah. So fast forward to this fourth date, as my babe talked about. Again, you have to go back to the last video because we really set the stage yeah. for what that date meant to us and what it looked like. But I kid you not, again, that morning, God went and confirmed it to him where God said that he had his yes, right? Yeah. That same date, later after we went to mass, we're walking in this beautiful park that I had gone to before. And I, in that moment, as we were entering the park, I was literally thinking to myself and I was praying in my head, I'm like, Lord, I really like this guy. Like, I really, really like him, but what are you doing? What do you have to say about it? Like, I don't want to go ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Is this you? It seemed too good to be true. All the questions that you normally have. I kid you not, as I am having this mental conversation with the Lord, we walk deeper into the park and there is a huge archway that has the Bible verse with Lily of the Valley. <laughs> 
Again, my mom had this dream years ago, so I always knew something about my husband and Lily of the Valley. Yeah. So that was like a big like boom. Okay, Lord, you're in this. But as my babe said, a lot of the other confirmations for me were the things that I would always pray and ask the Lord for in a future meet. Yeah. Basically in those moments when I was like almost like Hannah in the Bible, if you read that scripture, I believe it's in 1 Samuel, when you're just the grievances, like the cry of your heart when I was in my singleness season. I was like, Lord, I really want a man like X, yeah. Y, and Z. It was those things that I saw in the natural come out through this man. Yeah. And in those moments, God would always tell me things like in my heart, like, okay, these are the glimpses that I'm giving you mm -hmm. to further confirm that like he is yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah. So stinking good. This is also one of the big things, like when you meet your person yeah. you will see how god meets all of your desires desires of your heart it's sure. not it doesn't have it doesn't have to be supernatural always yeah. it was for us and we're so blessed that yeah. it was but it doesn't have to be that way yeah that's yeah. so true yeah so good. yeah i love you yeah where, where, <laughs> are we at, where are we at next um yeah it's, it's you now oh it's me okay yeah. it's me now you're, you're up you're up i'm up so what we want to do what yeah. we want to tell you god really cares with the person you're gonna end up with yeah it's really important it's it someone yeah. you're gonna build your life and someone you're gonna run with together towards him yeah uh so he is speaking about it still today god is speaking you know we know that he said my sheep hear my mm -hmm. voice he didn't say my sheep heard my voice as in the past yeah. but this is a continuous thing that's happening that he yeah. is speaking to us and he does want to speak to us about our person so pay attention mm -hmm. how do you hear him in your heart you can hear him in your heart some people hear him audibly i never heard him audibly mm -hmm. but it could be in your heart you can he can speak to you through images and pictures as he did for me like we say yeah. he paints a picture on the canvas of your imagination mm -hmm. that's how he speaks to us he can speak to us in dreams mm -hmm. in visions through his words through other people there's multiple ways that he can speak to us yeah that's so good yeah um, and I urge you that if you're watching this and you're just like, well, I've never heard God speak, yeah. that you can literally stand on that Bible verse, which is in John 10, I think. Yeah, John 10. Yeah, it's in John 10. You can search it out. But you can say, okay, God, your word says that your sheep hear your voice. And I want to hear your voice. Help me be more in tune to what you are saying and the ways that you're speaking yeah. to me. Because we are living proof that he does still speak today. And that is your inheritance if mm -hmm. you are his sheep AK, if you believe in Jesus and you are walking with the Lord, you will hear his voice. Yeah. yeah. Good word. Thanks, good word, my good word too. One more thing I wanted to say as we kind of close out today's video is that, yes, as we just said, God still speaks. But God has also given us emotions. And sometimes we like to paint emotions as this yeah. negative thing, yeah. this like fleshly thing. But God created us in his image. God himself has emotions. We read about that in the Bible. So it's not a bad thing. Instead, God gives us these emotions to hint at things that he wants us to address or things he wants us to go back to him with. So in the dating season, as you're waiting for confirmation mm -hmm. from the Lord, pay attention to how you're feeling. Because if you're having feelings of... Um, if you're just like not settled in your heart, like let's say the person is not really honoring you or respecting you, or you just don't really see how you would mesh your lives together, like pay attention to those feelings yeah. and emotions. And instead of brushing them off, use it as an invitation to go to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, why am I feeling these things? Yeah. What is your truth about it? Because again, we might be waiting for this audible voice to say, this is your person, but God also gives us wisdom. And sometimes he's allowing our emotions to show us yeah. that this person's not for us. Yeah, so right. if you have a lot of feelings like, I don't know, it just feels off or they're kind of rude and they're, red they flags, yell at me, yeah. Yeah, these red flags, pay attention to that. Because yeah. we're waiting for God to speak, but he's speaking through, through that. that. Yeah. And also I want to add one more thing about emotions. Yeah. Our emotions can be really like mm, good. Say it. I already know where you're going. I love <laughs> <laughs> As Kayla said, this is also one of the things that God's going to speak you through. But our emotions can also be tricky. Yes. 
it can be tricky because when we are in love, our emotions become so crazy, yeah. so big. We're in love. We're in mm -hmm. the cloud number nine, as we love to say. And it's really hard yeah. when in, when we are in that state of mind and emotions. Mm -hmm. really hard, it's, it's hard to hear from the Lord clearly then, mm -hmm. is this person for mm -hmm. me? Because when we try to hear from God mm -hmm. from that perspective and that stand of point, everything that God tries to tell us comes through that lens of yeah. that person that we already maybe made an idol of and through the lens of our strong emotions yeah. and we tend to hear more what we want to hear than what the lord is speaking exactly to us. that's why having wise counsel and relying on the body of christ is important because yeah. in both of our testimonies about how god confirmed yeah. not only did he tell us before we even met each other so that we weren't clouded by our emotions yeah. of love but we also heard from other people that we trusted that confirmed yeah. Yeah. god's not going to contradict himself so if you you think this person is for you but if you go ask a trusted counsel and they're just like i don't know maybe you should pray about it god is not the author of confusion so if things don't line up yeah that should be a sign yeah we hope we helped you um, to settle this question and yeah just rest in his promises yeah. rest in his presence he will speak to you he will. Uh, and for our next video after our school Mm -hmm. after god confirming after we knew that this is my person i'm gonna marry her i'm gonna spend the rest of my life with her i had to go back to croatia so in our next video we're gonna tell tell you what happened next dun dun dun, 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 dun. cliffhanger all right guys we love you love you and bless you and see you bye, bye.